five minutes, just wanted to let you know that we'll be going over that demonstration. Uh, we also have opportunities going on. All right, I'm here with Robert from Agco. He's going to walk us through how the uh, Fent Ideal handles uh, grain, how it goes through the threshing system. So. All right, very good. So we're going to start by taking a look at the processor itself. So the first thing you're going to notice from our processor is we've got extremely long rotors, right? So the rotors are 16 feet long. So a little bit of the concept behind the 16 foot long rotors is, right? is a couple of things as we were developing this combine, we sat down and we discussed with customers around the world of what's important to them, what they need from a harvesting machine, from a combine in the future. And so a couple of things that come out right away in a lot of areas was grain quality and straw quality for some parts of the world. Right? So in different regions, different things are important, but the overall, you got to be gentle with the crop. And so what we do, if you're going to be gentle with the crop, you have to be less aggressive. If you're going to be less aggressive, you got to have a little more room to get the job done, right? That's we got the long rotors. So that we can get more work done. We'll have excellent straw quality, excellent grain quality coming out of this part of the machine. Now, as we start to move down in our concave area, we have uh, what we call our ideal balance pan. And so, what we're trying to do here is we want to make sure that we load the shoe evenly across the shoe. That's where you get the most capacity. So, if you'll notice on this front pan, it's funneled, and what we're doing with everything that's being processed off of the concave, and we're actually dumping to the center of the stratification pan. Okay, so we want to get everything at equal shot. And when you move back here to the return pan on the separator side, you'll see that the pan is shaped, and we're moving all the material to the outside of the shoe, right? So now loading the center up front where 80% of your thrashing is going on, right? 80% of it up here. And then on the back side, we're going to dump it to the outside so we get a nice even mat of material going across the shoe because that's important in a combine and that's where your capacity comes into play. Now with that, you'll see we have dividers so we hold it in place off of the stratification pan which is where we're shaking it. And we're moving the heavy grain to the bottom and the light material to the top, right? That's the first part of separation going on. You have an air duct right here. To get a blast of air as the material is coming off of the stratification pan. So you got a little blast here. You have another air duct coming in here to get some more air as it moves off of here. And then, of course, the air that lifts it up on the shoe itself. So really, we're controlling the flow. When you look at axial combines, the direction the rotor turns is going to give you potential overload one side or the other, right? So with this, we're now controlling the flow of material with our pans, getting it down on the shoe to be most efficient that we can do. Okay? Okay, we're going to talk about a few more features on this Fent Ideal Combine here this morning. One of the things that I wanted to point out is the track system that we have on this combine. So tracks were designed by our engineers in Jackson, Minnesota, where we build our track tractors. It was designed specifically for this combine. It does have suspension to it, and we have multiple track width options to go with a very robust system to go on the tractor to handle, or the combine to handle the load that we're going to be putting on it with the 485 bushel grain tank that's on this machine, right? Unloading at six bushel per second. So not only has it got a big tank, but we can get it unloaded quick. Big tank does you no good if it takes all day to unload it. Right? So we've got to get it unloaded in a very timely manner. And a lot of work went into that part of it from an engineering so standpoint. Because you don't always want to try and move grain with speed because it does more damage. So getting the correct diameters, the pitch, to move the grain most efficiently is what we've done, and we got speed at the same time of moving the grain without damaging the grain. As we look up in, uh, you may want to get a little closer, we look up in here at the drive system. So you have your central drive system up there, which is mounted right, up, right directly onto the engine and we're driving the rotors off going back to the front or up to the rear and then your header drive is up to the front. The whole drive system is based off of the central drive which has simplified it so we're down to 13 belts 
drive the entire machine. Okay. The next thing um, that we'll talk a little bit about is you have your return over here on the side. So anything that is returned goes back in onto the shoe. There's one in Billers Park. And you'll notice the. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see them or not, but we have these black rods underneath there. Those are the sensors. So what we're doing is we're sensing, and we have over 30 of these sensors on the machine. So we're sensing where the grain is moving through the processor so that we can tell on an iPad, we'll be able to see exactly what's going on inside of that combine. So the grain is, as we talked about before, you want more thrashing happening the 80% in the front side. But if it's getting too far back, you could be experiencing some losses, right? But you're going to be able to see that within the cab. What's actually going on, where the material is getting through the processor. Make your adjustments and be able to see a change. Not only that, you'll be monitoring uh, all of your combine, uh, from your yield to the combine performance fuel, all that stuff will be monitored on the iPad as well. But this is the first part of being able to be a self-adjusting combine, right? We have to understand what's going on inside the combine. The combine has to know. So you'll have sensors in the feeder house, sensing the flow of material, and then we're going to track it all the way out the back of the combine. With that, it also has a camera in the clean grain elevator so that we can see our grain sample in the cab or on the iPad in your pickup driving along the side, right? That camera will be able to tell if you got too many cracks, if you got too much foreign material, and that's how the combine is going to know how to adjust based on that, the grain loss, and where the material is coming through the process, right? So all this stuff has to calculate together so we can adjust itself. The plan is to get, uh, is for the combine to be able to adjust itself better than what we can and get more productivity. It has to be that. Right? <coughs> on the driving train portion of it, so we have a two-speed shift-on-the-go transmission, which is which comes from our Voltra team. RWAs also, we get back to the straw chopper and spreader. This is where we've done a lot of work as residue management is very important in today's world, especially with the bigger heads. We've got to get all that material spread out there. That's been designed by us, and we're able to spread up to 50 foot wide with this. With different configurations depending on what's important to the customers. On the rotor drive, so you can see here's our central drive over here that we talked about before. You've got your belts going back to run your, to drive the rotors, but the rotors also drive the front feeder of the processor. So as you're slowing the rotor down, speeding it up, your feeder speed is going to adjust in relationship with that. So when you go back to grain quality, a lot of times we'll slow the rotor down, right? So we get better grain quality, less cracking. But if your front feeder is still running at full speed, you're going to still be doing damage. This way it's slowing down with it and really gives us a great, great grain quality. Just could you adjust that? Yes. It does all matter to you on that It will adjust itself automatically if you're in that mode or you can adjust it. All right. Uh, this one is five. What is it? Five fifty. And what engine is this? This is amazing. Okay. Well, thanks for walking us through that. You bet. Appreciate it.